it's time for art of electronics again and in today's video i'm going through exercise 1.31 in this exercise we need to prove that the rule of thumb for single section rc filters is that the phase shift is approximately six degrees from its asymptotic value at 0.1 or 10 percent of the cutoff frequency and 10 times the cutoff frequency so let's get started. To start with, let me quickly describe what asymptotic means. This basically describes a line that gets closer and closer to its final value as the distance, or in our case, the frequency gets closer to infinity. So as you can see in uh, this example here that I got from the internet, as this axis is going to infinity, this line is gonna get closer and closer to this line over here. So that's basically what it's asking. However, in the RC filters case, the two asymptotic values, I guess, would be the zero and 90 degrees. So the phase response for an RC filter for DC signals is zero degrees phase. And as the frequency goes towards infinity, the phase response will get closer and closer to 90 degrees. So those are the two asymptotic values for this equation that we need to try and show. So let's first look at how to derive the frequency response and basically the phase response of an RC filter. So similar to what we've done previously in some of the videos for RC filters, we can describe V out as equal to V in multiplied by the impedance of the capacitor, which I've uh, denoted as XC, um, divided by total impedance of the circuit, which is R plus the impedance of the capacitor. Impedance in this case is equal to minus J omega C. Now, if I plug in the impedance value for the capacitor into this equation, we get the following equation. So you can see I've replaced the XC with this. Next, I've basically brought this section of this equation down to here. So we have um, minus J on top, and then on the bottom we have omega C R minus J omega C over omega C, which is shown with this equation over here. So you can see that if we were to multiply this with this, this would cancel with the bottom section of this equation here. We would basically be left with the minus J. And this would be a simple multiplication over here, so omega CR. The resulting equation is V in uh, multiplied by minus J over omega CR minus J. Now, if we multiply the top and the bottom by the complex conjugate of this equation, we, we basically use omega CR plus J and multiply the top and bottom of this equation over here. We end up with this. So we've been through this equation many times before, but um, all I'm doing is adding this equation to the top and also to the bottom. So multiplying everything out and doing the cancellations where we can, we basically end up with this equation over here. Check out my other videos because we have been through this many times on previous questions, as there have been quite a few questions on RC filters from the art of electronics. Now you can see over here, what I've done is just separated the real part with the imaginary part. So I've got V out is equal to V in multiplied by one over one plus omega CR squared minus J omega CR divided by one plus omega CR squared. Just bringing that final equation from the last slide so that it's easy to follow. And then for complex numbers, the rule to calculate the phase response is basically if you have a equation that is the real part plus the imaginary part which is what we have here then the phase is equal to the arctan of b over a so b in this case would be this section here and a in this case would be this section here so let's plug in those numbers into this equation now so you can see i've expanded out these equations with the values over here now, if I multiply the top and the bottom of this division here with a 1 plus omega CR squared, then I basically end up with phase as equal to the arctan of omega CR. If you look at this equation, what you're doing is multiplying this section here with this and this section here with this. 
So obviously this would cancel, you would end up with a one here. So you're dividing by one. So you can ignore this bottom section. And then in this case, you cancel this out and you just are left with omega CR, which is this equation here. Now let's look at how we can show the phase response is equal to six degrees when the frequency is equal to a tenth of the cutoff frequency of the filter. So what I've done here is set up the values of a RC filter as one microfarad capacitor, a 100 ohm resistor, which basically gives me a cutoff frequency of 1591 hertz. We have we have looked at the cutoff frequencies of RC filters before. So if you need to catch up on that, please check out my previous videos. So for step one, let's look at the phase for 0.1 of the cutoff frequency. So that would be 159 Hertz. What I have done here is ignored the minus sign in, t in front of the tan. We should get to the answer anyway. The phase response for a filter like this is typically negative. Um, but to simplify the display here, I've removed the minus sign. So what I'm doing now is just plugging in these numbers. So omega is basically equal to 2 pi f. And f in our case is 159 hertz. And obviously we've got the c and the r value over here. So plugging this, those numbers in. So 2 pi times 159 hertz times 1 microfarad times 100 ohms. Um, and doing the arc tan calculation on that we basically end up with, with a phase of minus 5.7 degrees, which is approximately equal to 6 degrees as the question is asking us. Next, let's calculate the phase response at 10 times the cutoff frequency. So obviously that would be 15,915 hertz. So again, plugging in the same numbers, except for changing the frequency in this case, we end up with a phase response of 84 degrees approximately which is six degrees from 90 degrees, as that would be the final value. So if you continue to increase this F, what will happen is you basically approach um, 90 degrees and you can try this on Excel if you want to plug in these numbers and basically look at different F values. I will show you at the end. So this answers the question that's being asked, but there is a different method. Um, so let me just quickly go through that as that method is a lot simpler and it's provided in the book um i just it doesn't show you where the kind of the equation comes from so let's go through that now so the equation that the book gives us is this one over here the phase is equal to minus arctan of f over fc so this is your kind of working frequency and this is the cutoff frequency of the filter with this equation, we don't need to look at any example components. We don't need to find examples for R or C, as we'll go through now. So case one, um, where the frequency is a tenth of the cutoff frequency. For a normalized cutoff frequency of 1, our F would be 0 0.1. So this would become a 0 0.1 divided by 1. So our F over FC is equal to 0 0.1. So if you plug in those numbers, you get an answer of minus 5.711 degrees, so which is approximately minus 6 degrees. For case 2, where the frequency is 10 times the cutoff frequency, you basically have 10 divided by 1, which gives you a value of 10. So plugging in those numbers again into um, you know, your calculator or Excel, minus arctan 10 over 1, which is 10, is equal to minus 84.289 degrees which is approximately minus 84 degrees or six degrees away from 90, which is the final value. So hopefully this um, explanation was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, now I'll just quickly show you how the phase response changes with frequency on Excel. Let's start by defining our RC filter first. So that would be 100 ohm resistor and a one microfarad capacitor. To calculate the cutoff frequency for this, Fc, it's equal to 1 over 2 times pi times r times c. So obviously this gives you the cutoff frequency. Now let's put down frequency on this axis over here. So you can see I've put down frequency, I've just made it so that it increases very quickly. 
And finally, I will put down the equation that I derived and the equation that was given to us in the book. So my equation, I'll call EQ1, is equal to minus tan 2 times pi times f times c r and obviously i want to kind of lock this and this in place you can do that by pressing f4 while you're hovering over the cell reference and eq2 i will put down from the book which is equal to minus tan f divide by fc so obviously i will need to lock down fc so that it doesn't move down so i can do that again by f4 and just convert that to degrees i need to multiply it by this number here so just looking at this equation again what i need to fix is the arctan so i've used the wrong one and plotting both of them i should get very similar answers so you can see that they are directly on top of each other and as frequency is going really high the phase response is approaching 90 degrees as you can see over here now let's increase the frequency to see what happens to the phase response as the frequency approaches infinity i'm going to do that by increasing the step sizes from tens to two hundreds Now you can see that as the frequency is increased, the phase response is approaching 90 degrees, which is the asymptotic value that's being described in the question. Um, we can try this a bit more, but we're not going to be able to see any resolution anyway anymore. So I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.